boys and girls. Today we're going to read a book called Jamaica Tag Along by Juanita Haville, illustrated by Anne Sibley O'Brien. We've seen him before in other books. His name is Aussie. He's Jamaica's older brother. Do you know what it means to tag along? Have you ever heard that before? Sometimes my son likes to tag along with his older brother. He likes to go along with him and do what he's doing. That's what younger brothers and sisters like to do with their older brothers and sisters. They like to do what they're doing and hang out with them. It can be called tagging along. Let's find out more about Jamaica tag along. Jamaica Tag Along by Juanita Haville. So she's the author. Juanita came up with the idea and wrote all the words. Anne is the illustrator. She drew these beautiful pictures. Jamaica ran to the kitchen to answer the phone, but her brother got there first. It's for me, Aussie said. Jamaica stayed and listened to him talk. Sure, Aussie said. I'll meet you at the court. Aussie got his basketball from the closet. I'm going to shoot baskets with Buzz. Can I come too? Jamaica said. I don't have anything to do. Oh, Jamaica, call up your own friends. Everybody is busy today. I don't want you tagging along. I don't want to tag along, Jamaica said. I just want to play basketball with you and Buzz. You're not old enough. We want to play serious ball. Aussie dribbled his basketball down the sidewalk. Jamaica followed at a distance on her bike. Buzz was already at the school court shooting baskets with Jed and Maurice. She parked her bike by the bushes and she crept to the corner of the school building to watch. That's not fair, Jamaica thought. Maurice is shorter than I am. Pum, pa pum, pa pum, pa pum, pum, pum. The boys started playing, Aussie and Jed against Buzz and Maurice. Jamaica sneaked to the edge of the court. Maurice missed a shot and the ball came bouncing towards her. Jamaica jumped. I've got the ball, she yelled. Jamaica? Aussie was so surprised, he tripped over Buzz. They both fell down. Jamaica dribbled to the basket and tossed the ball. It whirled around the rim and flew out. I almost made it, Jamaica shouted. Can I be on your team, Aussie? No, N-O, Jamaica. I told you not to tag along. It's not fair. You let Maurice play. We need two on a team. Why don't you go play on the swings and stay out of the way? How do you think Jamaica feels right now? What do you think she wanted? Hmm. Let's find out more. I still think it's not fair. Jamaica walked slowly over to the sandlot. Look at the expression on her face. Looking at the illustrations and the expressions on their face can help us find out more about how the characters feel. Characters in books have feelings, just like we do. We can tell a lot from the illustrations. This illustration gives us some clues as well. It tells us the setting very well. Where are they? They're at a playground by the court. Mm -hmm. She started to swing but a little boy kept walking in front of her. His mom should keep him out of the way, Jamaica thought. She looked up and she saw a woman pushing a baby back and forth in a stroller. Hmm. I'm thinking right now about why this little boy keeps walking right in front of her. 
We know it's not a good idea to walk in front of the swings because we could get kicked. And it might be an accident, but it would still hurt. We know that Aussie, her older brother, doesn't want her to tag along because she's a little girl compared to him. He's a big guy. He has big friends. She's younger. Younger kids always want to hang out with the bigger kids, just like Jamaica wanted to hang out with Aussie. What about this little boy? What do you think he wants? Hmm. Jamaica sat down in the sand and began to dig. She made a big pile with the wet sand from underneath. She scooped sand from the mound to form a wall. Berto, help, said the little boy. He sprinkled dry sand on the walls. Don't, said Jamaica, you'll just mess it up. Jamaica turned her back. So what is it that this little boy wants to do? He wants to hang out with Jamaica. He didn't care so much about the swings. He probably doesn't care too much about that sand. He wants to tag along with her. How does Jamaica feel? Now we can't tell too much from her face, but we can from the words the author told us. Jamaica turned her back. So now her back is to the little boy, Birdo. His name's Birdo. When you turn your back to somebody, it shows you don't want to play so much. Let's find out some more. She piled the wet sand high. She made a castle with towers. She dug a ditch around the wall. Jamaica turned to see if Birdo was still there. He stood watching. Then he tried to step over the ditch and his foot smashed the wall. Stay away from my castle, Jamaica said. Berto, the woman pushing the stroller said, leave this girl alone. Big kids don't like to be bothered by little kids. How do you think Berto is feeling? Hmm. Do you think he meant to smash the wall? No, he was just trying to step over the ditch. Look at Jamaica's face. How is she feeling? I think what Birdo's mom said made Jamaica stop and think. What did his mom say? Big kids don't like to be bothered by little kids. Hmm. That's what my brother always says, Jamaica said. She started to repair the castle. Then she thought, but I don't like my brother to say that. It hurts my feelings. So what's the problem in this book? Aussie has hurt Jamaica's feelings. She just wants to hang out with him. And it hurts her feelings that he doesn't want her around because she's little. What do you think Jamaica might do next? Let's find out. Jamaica smoothed the wall. See, Birdo, like that. You can help me make a bigger castle castle if you're very careful. Jamaica and Berto made a giant castle. They put water from the drinking fountain in the moat. Look at that smile. How is Jamaica feeling now? Look at Berto's face. You can't see his mouth too much, but I can see the little lines around his eyes that crinkle up when you smile. I think Birdo's happy that a big kid wanted to play with him. And I think Jamaica's feeling better too. That smile is so much nicer than when she looked sad. Wow, Aussie said when the game was over and the other boys went home. Need some help? 
if you want to, Jamaica said. So now an even bigger kid wants to play. How do you think Jamaica feels about that? Jamaica, Birdo, and Aussie worked together on the castle. Wow, and now it's getting really big. When we work together, we can make really awesome things. Jamaica didn't even mind if Aussie tagged along. Who are the characters in this book? Jamaica, she's the main character. Aussie, he's definitely in this book. And Birdo, the little boy. How did Jamaica's feelings change from the beginning of the story to the end of the story? And what lesson do you think she learned? 